Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the first part in my new second impression series. And if you don't know what it is, I did get read with me when I talked a little bit about this. But as you may know, I shopped my stash this year with highlight, blush and contour. And I also wanted to do something similar like with eyeshadow palettes. I have my palette of the month, but I also want to do... <laughs> me and my boyfriend talked about this, he came up with the idea um, that I look at some old first impressions I have done and do a video with that palette and talk about my feelings about the palette now and like go back to see what I thought about the palette when I first tried it and yeah, like that. So I was so sure that my first first impression in English was with Color Rain Vivid Pigments, but it wasn't. It was with Yes Please from Colourpop, at least what I could find. I went through my playlist. I can link my first impression playlist up here. And it was with this palette and I <laughs> did look at the video. I talked a little bit about some lipsticks and powder and concealer in that video as well but I'm just going to talk about the eyeshadow palette in this one but I will leave the video up here and I think <laughs> that I come a long way since that video if you want to check it out you can do it I think it was from September 2018 so one and a half years ago a little bit more and I think I've changed a lot, both in my style and how I feel in front of the camera and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to do a makeup look with this. And first I was like, okay, I'm going to do my first impression look one more time, but no. Because in my first impressions, I always do what I feel like doing. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do what I feel like with this palette. So, super long intro, I'm going to zoom you in and then we get started with my second impression of the Yes Please palette from Colourpop. Okay, so time to jump in to the Yes Please palette and I think this is one of the most popular palettes from Colourpop, or at least was. It is one of their 12 pan palettes and it should be a palette I love because I love this color, but I don't know if I really do. I want to do... I think I know what I want to do and I think I have something on my eyelash and I'm going to take a, I'm going to be a little bit inspired by Annette's makeup corner with how I apply the eyeshadow I'm going to start with the yellow one mischief this one and put it in my crease but just in my like inner crease and I know that Annette does that a lot and I'll try it because I want it to be yellow in here and I think it's going to be so much easier to keep it yellow if I just start with only yellow in here. And I don't really know how to do this videos if I should do... I don't really know what I took this brush. I don't like the small blending brushes. <laughs> I... I don't know if I'm going to do like a review in the end or if I'm going to talk about well, my feelings, how it was about the palette last time or in my first impression now or if I'm going to do like a catch up review. I think I'm going just to talk about it now when I do my makeup and if you want me to do the other way around you can just tell me and I will do that for the next part but I think I had this color underneath my eyes in my first impression and I said it was a really good yellow and I still feel, feel it is. I've tested out a lot of yellow eyeshadows since then but I feel that this is still a good yellow. Okay and then in the rest of my crease I will first go in with big cocktails and then take G and O to deep and down the crease and now I will try to not put this over the yellow. We'll see how that goes. 
it shouldn't be a problem, but I am I'm so used to just smudging it on my whole crease. So we will see if I can stop myself. And I think that I can. And I think this was the first eyeshadow palette I tried from Colourpop, if I'm not mistaken. And I think I'm going to say this in a lot of these videos, that when I started to do my makeup, I did more like neutral looks, and it's so much kick up in this palette. Um, I did more neutral looks, and then I was like, this is perfect for me. And I said, I'm going to use this a bunch of times. Have I? No. I think this is the fourth time I'm using it, so yeah. But I got this like before I started to <laughs> discover colorful makeup, and it was something new and fun for me then. But now I. <clears throat> I feel that this would be a palette if I would use makeup on a daily basis. I think this would be a palette that I would absolutely use, but now I don't use makeup on a daily basis, so yeah. And then I'm going in with Ye Note, a little bit darker one, and just dip it down. I don't know if it will make any difference at all, maybe not. This big cocktails were a little bit darker than I expected it to be. This is still a good palette and if you like these kinds of colors and I do, I it's nothing wrong with it. The only thing, it feels like it's too natural for me to pick it out if I want to do something orange and yellow because I have other palettes that is more fun to do orange and yellow with. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with French Kiss and Bling and I'm going to take French Kiss just out here and then put Bling over it and I have no idea, it's so... I can't remember this from my first impression that this palette has so much kick up and it feels like I have some color pop palettes and I don't feel that they are this much kick up. And I have older palettes than this so I don't think it's because of that, but I think this is one of Colourpop's, maybe not first palettes, but it is really early palette for them. And I think it is a palette that a lot of people have tried from Colourpop just because I think it was one of their first palettes. I don't know so much about Colourpop in the beginning because um, they didn't ship to Sweden in the beginning, so yeah. I remember when they started and one YouTube, one Swedish YouTuber that I watched a lot, she made an order from Colourpop and I was like blown away and also wanted to order from Colourpop. And I think it was just when they opened theirs, or when they started to ship it to Sweden. Okay, now I'm using Bling. And I actually like this shade. I think Colourpop, sometimes they are really hit and miss. With especially their shimmers, I have the Zodiac palette and the quality of that one is very 
Some shades are a dream and some shades are a disaster. But this bling it looks really good. I really, really like this look. And now I think I'll go in with butter cake, this gold one, and put it in here to match the yellow in my crease. And the shimmers in this palette, I swatched them before I started my makeup and they felt very dry. So I was a little bit afraid because the shimmers that feels very dry in the Zodiac palette, they are so bad. But these two are really good. Yeah, the shadows blend together so good. I really like this palette more than in my first impression, I think. But I was so excited for this palette, but then it was like I discovered eyeshadow palettes <laughs> and this like went I think I forgot a little bit about this I'm just going in with bling again and yeah I don't think I ranked this that high in my ranking my color pops and I think I will take that back because this looks really good I really like those eyelids. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I'll come back and we do the under eyes. And I think I want to keep this look pretty cohesive. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I'll come back. So time for the under eyes. And I think I just want to go in with this G and O and French Kiss. And then I think I will put butter cake like in here. So it goes together a little bit with butter cake on my lid. And I will spray the butter cake because I don't want it to fall. Okay, so I think I am done with the eyes like this. So I will just put on something in my waterline and a lippy and something uh, with my mascara and a mascara and then I come back and I'm gonna give my second impression on this Yes Please palette. Okay, so this is the finished look for my waterline. I use Punch from Colourpop and for my lips I use Love Life from Colourpop. And what is my second impression with the Yes Please palette? I really liked it the first time I used it, but then I was like, I don't like it that much because I just used it. I think this is the fourth time and the other two times that I have used it, it was outside of YouTube. I thought it was okay. I had nothing to complain about, but it was not the favorite. But now I really like this and I think this looks good. I can't remember how I ranked this. I think I ranked it pretty low with my Colourpop palette. I think I would have ranked it higher if I would do the rankings now. But what I feel about this palette, it is a good palette. I like the color story, but I think it's, for my liking right now, it is too neutral. It's only one yellow and I think the orange in this one is pretty similar. But if I would have, if I would use makeup <laughs> on a daily basis, I think this would be a palette that I would go back to because it feels like I can do really good everyday looks. I could do this and I really like this. This is something that I would wear like, I, I just like this look. But I don't feel that this is a palette that has what I am looking for. I hope you get what I mean. It's not a bad palette. It is a good palette. I think it's a good quality for Colourpop. 
or their good quality, not their bad quality. I think it's a good palette. <laughs> but I don't know if it's anything for me. I don't know if I would have bought it now. But yeah, my second impression is still good. I don't think I would have bought it if I didn't own it. So yeah, I really like this look. It's a me look. I The shadows were easy to work with. Nothing wrong with them. They had a lot of kick up. I don't feel like my other Colourpop palettes has this much kick up. But it was a good palette. It is a good palette. But yeah, I think I'm just going to stop talking now because it feels like I'm only repeating myself right now. So I really hope you like this video. I really hope that you would like will like this series. I will for the next time do... I think it's the more palette then. I thought I was going to make them in order. Like going from my first, first impression... And just from there. So I think the next time it's going to be the more palette. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!